Hello and welcome. You join me here to take you through the key details and features of the new Peugeot E3008, the brand's next level electric fastback SUV. Peugeot has transformed the 3008, taking it to new heights of design, driving pleasure and electric performance to create the new E3008. The new E3008 is now a fastback SUV with a reinvented and efficient design. It features the new panoramic eye cockpit and offers an all-electric range of up to 435 miles thanks to the new STLA medium architecture from Stellantis. The new E3008 boasts Peugeot's signature design language. At the front, the all-new design features the distinctive three-claw lighting signature and ultra-compact LED headlamps with the Peugeot shield sitting proudly on the front grille, thus accentuating the modernity and unique personality of the E3008. The fastback SUV styling of the new 3008 makes it immediately recognisable. With its dynamic and aerodynamic shape, Peugeot has modernised the traditional slope of the fastback with a floating spoiler. This enhances the curve of the new 3008's bodywork while optimising aerodynamics. The sleek profile of the 3008 is complemented by 19 or 20 inch diamond cut alloy wheels, which have a stylish geometric design, while the rear of the car features the familiar sight of the three claw light signature. The E3008 remains one of the most compact cars in the 100% electric SUV category at 4.5 metres in length, 1.89 metres wide and 1.64 metres high. Despite this, it features 520 litres of boot space, extending to 1,480 litres with the rear seats folded. The new 3008 is available in a range of six colours, Obsession Blue, Ingaro Blue, Oconite White, Nera Black, Cumulus Grey and Titan Grey. Thanks to innovative diachromatic pigments, the unique Obsession Blue shade changes colour from blue to green depending on the light. Stepping inside the new 3008, you will see the new Peugeot Eye Cockpit with its floating curved 21 inch HD panoramic screen that combines the head up display with a central touch screen. It's positioned for optimum functionality and the screen is slightly curved towards the driver while remaining accessible to the passenger. Infotainment is provided via Peugeot's iConnect advanced system, which includes connected navigation with over the air map updates, wireless mirror screen, and the ability to set up to eight driver profiles. The system can be operated through natural voice recognition, activated by saying, okay, Peugeot, all models also feature a customizable virtual eye toggle display. The cabin's aesthetics and cutting edge technology are enhanced by the ambient LED lighting, which can be customized in eight different colors. The new Peugeot panoramic eye cockpit introduces two paddles behind its compact steering wheel, which allow the driver to choose from three levels of regenerative braking. Drivers can also choose from three different driving modes, eco, normal, or sport, to ensure their driving experience suits the roads they're on. The E3008 is the first model to use Stellantis's brand new STLA medium powertrain, offering best-in-class performance. From launch, the E3008 is available with a 73 kilowatt hour battery and electric motor, producing 210 horsepower and 345 newton meters of torque. Thanks to efficiency of around 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, the E3008 achieves an impressive WLTP range of up to 327 miles. When the battery does run low, the E3008 can be recharged from 20 to 80% in just 30 minutes from a 160 kilowatt charger. For AC charging, the E3008 comes as standard with an 11 kilowatt onboard charger. At home, using a typical 7.4 kilowatt charger, the battery can be charged from 20% to 100% in eight hours. A self-charging hybrid powertrain is also available on the new 3008. This features 136 horsepower, 1.2 litre petrol engine, and six speed dual clutch automatic transmission, twinned with a 22 horsepower electric motor and a 48 volt battery to offer increased efficiency 
and reduced emissions. Confident in the quality of its products, Peugeot offers the E3008 with its Allure Care program, providing comprehensive cover for the electric motor, charging system, powertrain, and electrical and mechanical components for up to eight years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. Peugeot Allure Care is activated and maintained through regular servicing and subject to terms and conditions. The Peugeot Allure Care program is in addition to the specific warranty offered by Peugeot on all its electric vehicle batteries, also lasting eight years or 100,000 miles, providing total peace of mind for customers making the switch to electric. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy your time with the new E3008. Hello and welcome to the all new Tucson test drive. We at Hyundai have put a lot of effort into this model and we are happy to see it finally hit the road. Tucson celebrated its world premiere in September. Now you will be among the first to drive it. But first, let's revisit how it all began with this lineup. It's been 16 years since Hyundai launched the first Tucson. Since then, we've sold more than 7 million units around the globe, including 1.4 million units in Europe, making it our best-selling model ever. It's the backbone of our product range. When the original Tucson launched in 2004, it was one of the first models in what became a fiercely competitive segment. Over the years, it turned more modern and aligned with European tastes. The second generation, called iX35 in Europe, launched in 2009 with new, sleek and dynamic proportions. Then in 2015, the bold third generation model came back with its original name. This journey proves that we at Hyundai always offer something new and exciting to our customers. Now, for its fourth generation, the Tucson is more progressive than ever. And it truly stands out in its class. That's why we came up with the tagline, Step in, stand out. This motto reflects how the all-new Tucson allows you to stand out from the crowd. With looks like these, it will really turn heads. But as our experts will explain, Tucson does not only stand out for its design. Its smart technologies are also impressive. As an industry leader in electrification, we have the widest range of alternative powertrains. In 2020, we renewed and electrified almost our entire European fleet including our complete SUV lineup. Our European production plant in the Czech Republic is now producing electrified versions of the Kona, Tucson and i30. This underlines our philosophy, made in Europe, for Europe. I now hand over to Rafa Nuffel for a deeper dive into the product highlights. Thank you, Andreas. Welcome from my side. As you heard, the all-new Tucson truly stands out. And I will now explain why. Let's start with the most obvious change, the design. The exterior is defined by what we call parametric dynamics. Our designers created lines, faces, angles and shapes through digital data. See these geometric patterns? We call them parametric jewels. They appear throughout the vehicle. The first place you'll notice them is at the front. The daytime running lights have been seamlessly integrated into the grill. We did this using state-of-the-art half-mirror lighting technology. These hidden lights are completely invisible when switched off. Moving to the side, you'll see that Houston is longer and wider than before. Its angular surfaces and sharp edges stand in contrast to its sleek silhouette. At the rear, once again, you'll see the connected parametric lights. The wiper is hidden underneath the spoiler. This creates room for a clean glass surface and a smooth glass Hyundai emblem. We offer a choice 
of nine exterior colors. And each body color can be combined with a two-tone roof. And now let's take a look inside. The interior features a layered, naturally flowing layout. Instead of physical knobs and buttons, everything is touch control. From infotainment to climate functions. The high quality materials feel very soft and this lifts the in-car experience to the next level. You can also customize the ambient mood lighting with 64 colors and 10 levels of brightness. With Tucson, we wanted to offer human-oriented technology. The fully digital cockpit features a new open cluster without a hood and an infotainment screen, both with a size of 10.25 inches. It's a very modern and clean design. The infotainment system comes with the latest version of Blue Link. This offers a range of new services, including, for example, connected routing, last mile navigation, and a user profile feature. The Tucson also comes with wireless phone mirroring and a wireless charging pad. A premium sound system by Krell provides an enhanced listening experience. And for the first time in a Hyundai vehicle, it features hidden air vents with multi-air mode technology. This creates an indirect airflow for improved comfort. The increased exterior dimensions are also noticeable inside. Rear passengers can enjoy even more legroom, also on the hybrid version. Thanks to the installation of the battery underneath the passenger seat, there is no compromise and the boot space has also become more generous. Turning to safety, the all-new Tucson is equipped with the most comprehensive package in its class. It now has a center-side airbag, a unique feature to this segment. This prevents front row passengers from colliding with one another in the case of an accident. The list of safety and driver assistance features has also been increased. To name some highlights, there is highway driving assist. It keeps the car in the center of a lane while adapting the speed based on navigation data and traffic around. Therefore, the car automatically adjusts the speed when navigating curves. Tucson is the first compact SUV to be equipped with the Highway Driving Assist feature. Another highlight is the new Forward Collision Avoidance Assist, or FCA, which detects cars, bicycles or pedestrians ahead and applies the brakes if necessary. And for the first time in a Tucson, FCA now includes junction turning to prevent collisions at intersections while turning left. Another unique feature to the segment is the new blind spot view monitor. The rear side view is displayed in the cluster when the driver activates the turn signal. And last but not least, with the new remote smart park assist, drivers can park or unpark their cars by simply pressing a button on the key. I'll now hand over to Dr. Michael Winkler, who will discuss the Tucson's powertrain lineup. Thank you, Raf. Let's take a look at how the all-new Tucson stands out in terms of powertrains. It has the most electrified powertrain lineup in its segment, with gasoline and diesel 48-volt mild hybrid, full hybrid, and plug-in hybrid options. At the core of every gasoline powertrain is the third-generation Hyundai SmartStream 1.6-liter turbocharged gasoline engine. It features the world's first continuously variable wealth duration technology. Well, what does it mean? This means the wealth control technology regulates the duration of the intake valve opening and closing according to driving conditions. This boosts both engine performance and fuel efficiency while also being eco-friendly by reducing emissions. And for even more fuel savings, the SmartStream engines can be combined with our signature 48-volt mild hybrid technology. As well as electrifying the engines, we have also electrified the manual transmission. We call it Intelligent Manual Transmission, or IMT. IMT decouples the engine from the transmission after the driver, for example, releases the accelerator. This allows the car to enter into two different levels of coasting mode. With the first level, the engine is at idle, 
With the second level, the engine is momentarily turned off to save even more fuel. It is more comfortable for the driver and passengers and it reduces emissions. Now, let us have a look at our high voltage electrification options. Full hybrid and plug-in hybrid. Both of these options combine the instant torque of the electric motor with the power output of a gasoline turbocharged engine. The Tucson Hybrid with a 1.6 liter TGDI engine and a total output of 230 horsepower combines efficiency with great performance. And I'm sure you will notice this during driving. A plug-in hybrid variant with 265 horsepower will join the lineup next year. As well as electrified options, the Tucson is also available with our smart string gasoline or diesel engines. As you can see, the all-new Tucson is all about efficiency, but it makes no compromise on driving fun. And on this subject, let's hear from our Head of Vehicle Testing and Development, Tyron Johnson. Tyron, over to you. Thanks, Michael. My team and I have invested an exceptional amount of time and energy in our bestseller. Our goal was to match the performance with just the right balance between ride and handling for our customers. This has been a really exciting journey for us. Our prototypes underwent extensive testing on proving grounds and challenging roads all over Europe, from the cold Alps to the hot weather conditions in the south of Spain. We've also conducted accelerated durability tests and dynamic testing on the most demanding racetrack in the world the famous Nürburgring Nordschleife. Additionally, we made use of cutting edge simulation tools such as virtual development. The result speaks for itself. The Tucson is ready for all types of driving styles and terrain. The most significant highlight we've been working on is the new electronically controlled suspension. So far at Hyundai, we have only offered this with our end brands. Now we're bridging the gap between the two contrary aspects of driving pleasure, ride and handling, in our newest SUV. Every few milliseconds, the control unit adjusts each damper individually to road conditions and driving style. This provides the perfect damping force for a stable and balanced, yet comfortable ride. The ECS even gave us the opportunity to integrate two different characters in one car. In normal or eco mode, the Tucson offers a very comfortable, flat and stable vehicle behavior within the complete speed range, even on the most challenging roads. In sport mode, you can enjoy an extra level of response and control. And this allows for even more driving fun, especially when paired with the 230 horsepower hybrid powertrain. The new suspension also affected another important refinement the steering. For the normal mode, the system has been carefully calibrated to achieve a comfortable and linear response across the complete speed range. With shifting to sport mode, you will feel a sharper steering effort build up, enjoying that extra point of connected feel and precision. For those who prefer to go on more challenging terrain, the Tucson is ready too. The Hyundai H-Track all-wheel drive system provides sure footing on various road surfaces and conditions. The latest H-Track applied to the all-new Tucson Hybrid offers additional multi-terrain modes such as mud, sand, and snow. As you heard, there is a lot to explore on the new Tucson. I hope you enjoy driving it as much as I do. <laughs>